Good morning and happy Monday. It's the 25th of October today and I am just home from the gym. The time is now 25 to 10. Uh, I, got, I managed to get up quite early today which I'm proud of. I got up at about, I think it was just after 6 and then I sort of like took a little bit of time getting ready because I was a bit tired and dozy and then managed to get to the gym. I've got no idea, but the time is what it is now. Um, I managed to do a 28 minute run with a five minute warm up and a five minute cool down either side. So um, walking for 10 minutes, running for 28 minutes. And then I did uh, like an arm workout and a little bit of time on the vibration plate, doing a couple of squats and just sort of like help it, helping my um, lymphatic system move all the lymphic fluid around my body. So I'm home now, I've just made myself an oat milk, a coffee, and I actually have, oh, while well, I remember, I'll input my workout log here. For those of you who like to see how many calories and whatnot I've burned, um, but I have an Ocado order coming between 10 and 11. Um, I'm not feeling like super duper hungry, so I think I'm gonna have my coffee and maybe like a banana or something for breakfast. And um, I'll probably show you what I got from Ocado. Today is actually, Mondays I have off from work. So technically I have like Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, although I do try and do some work on a Saturday. But the majority of the time I have Sunday and Monday is my weekend. Um, and Monday is kind of like, I kind of class it as a bit of like a Sunday, so getting ready for, um, getting ready for the week ahead. So today I am going to be doing, uh, some meal prepping. Um, I have my groceries coming. Uh, I've already wrote down, like, meals for the week, but I'm going to put, make it a little bit more, um, organised and actually write down what day we're going to have what meal on. So yeah, lots to do. And then probably for the rest of the day, I'll tidy up and have a bit of a nice house, housey kind of day. And I think this evening we're going to go see the new Venom movie at the cinema, which is fun, fun, fun. Um, but yeah, really pleased that I'm starting my week off in a healthily productive way. I hope you guys are too. Um, yeah, so I'll go and enjoy my coffee until my, hopefully the Ocado order will come more closer to 10 o'clock than it will 11 o'clock. Cause I'm really impatient and I don't like waiting around. Um, but happy Monday, all you lovely people. Cheers. <music> So my food shop has arrived and I thought I would share it with you. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is these mushroom steaks um, by the No Meat Company. I've had these before and they are one of my preferred um, veggie steaks. They're really, really, really yummy. Texture's really good as well. Um, these are a frozen product so I am just going to pop them in the freezer so they don't defrost. And then I'm going to go through the fruits and the veggies, which make up the majority of what I got. Um, I got a punnet of mango pieces. I got this. This is something new. I don't think I've ever bought any grapefruits in um, a grocery haul before, but I was kind of craving them. So I decided to get a couple of grapefruits. Um, I got a bag of celery I got a pack of bananas I got a punnet of white mushrooms I got um, some pears I got another sort of like thing that I have bought before but I don't buy regularly um, are some figs Um, I got a bunch of berries as usual. I got some blueberries, some blackberries, and so 
some raspberries. I nearly said strawberry then, but they ain't strawberries, they're raspberries. Um, I got one of these balsamic beetroot punnets, super duper handy to have if you're anything like me whenever I cut beetroot I always end up with like really pink hands and can never get it off for like a week and um, I got a bag of extra fine beans I got a bag of radish I got some salad onions I grabbed um, a bunch of different varieties of tomatoes. I got these, I don't know why I did this, <laughs> but I got these baby plum tomatoes, these baby plum tomatoes, and then I got a mix of the tomato stall variety with all my little favorite ones in there. I think they're changing, so this this is um, the tomato stall is in the Isle of Wight and they are, I follow them on Instagram and I noticed that they said that their seasonal tomatoes are changing, which I'm super excited to try uh, some different things. I got some, <laughs> I got some tender stem broccoli and this is, this is the only sort of downside to doing your shopping online if you're like me and you're not so, um, like you don't take much notice of the sizes of packaging and stuff. This is like the most tiniest packet of tender stem broccoli I've ever seen. I did get two, so that's okay. But how cute and small are they? They're absolutely tiny. Um, oh my God, I've just realized that you can actually, you can cook them in the bag. That's really handy. Microwave steam. So you pierce the bag there and then just pop it in the microwave. How handy are they? Um, I've got a bunch of salad mixes. I've got two bags of the Florette crispy salad leaves. I also got one of the Florette rainbow crunchies. And I also got the Bistro and this is like baby leaves and crunchy uh, beetroot as well um i got a big garlic now this was very interesting this is a seasonally revolutionary flavored garlic so it's some kind of seasonal garlic i don't know the type but it's a big old guy um i'm trying to use as much garlic in my cooking as possible because it's um an, a natural anti-inflammatory um i got a ginormous cucumber it's huge like literally almost fits the entire screen um loving cucumber at the minute though and i also got some sweet baby peppers um i decided i was going to try the avocado brand um these seemed to have a lot of stars but i also wanted to try the M&S brand as well because they had some so I just thought I'll try both brands see if there's much difference because these are considerably cheaper than these ones but I just wanted to see if there was any difference um, I got a bag of pea shoot and garlic stir fry mix I got a bag of uh, baby new baby new potatoes and the last thing for the fruits and the vegetables i got a box of um hand-picked apples these are sweet and tasty orchard world and they come in a box these were like really cheap they were like two pounds or something there they are so that's it for the fruits and veggies. Um, next I'm going to go on to sort of like my protein, my protein sources, which I suppose you can class as sort of like meat alternatives. So I've got a big um, box of extra firm tofu. I have got these ridiculously adorable Biona Organics 
um, mini quinoa burgers. Look at them. They're so cute and small. I got two punnets of the vegetarian butcher. What the cluck? Really, 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 really good um, chicken substitute. I also really like the This Isn't brand. Their like chicken pieces are really, really good as well. Um, another Bayona Organic, the Red Lentil and Sunseed Burgers, which are becoming one of my firm favourites. I don't think I've tried these before but they sounded incredible. And I'm trying to, with my meat substituted items, I'm trying to choose things that are made with plants rather than things that are made with like, I don't know, like lots of artificial stuff. I'm trying to reach for like the beanie type burgers rather than the, rather than um, the sort of like Beyond Meat style stuff. Um, but things that are still a good source of um, protein. So these looked really good. These are the um, fine. I can never pronounce his name. Is it the Feinbrug? 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 Finbrug? This brand, guys. <laughs> and this is the Naked Veg and Proud. So these are red pepper and smoky squash sausages. And I just think. They look and sound really tasty. Um, two servings, which I'm gonna oh, so free free sausages is 131 calories. They have 1.5 grams of fat, 0.3 grams of saturate, 3.1 grams of sugars. They are gluten free. Uh, and protein per 100 grams is four grams. There we go. I also grabbed some falafel balls from Biona Organics. Um, Jim's a big fan of falafel, as am I, so thought I'd get some of that. It was on offer, it was like free for, free, free um, Biona products for eight pounds, which is pretty good. And I also got one of the marinated tofus, because these are incredible. Literally the most convenient thing ever. I mean, I, I know I've got the box of tofu and I'm going to give it a whirl because I, I do I do have like a vague memory of cooking with tofu before and it didn't go so well um, but I'm hoping now after sort of enjoying the the cauldron marinated tofu for so long I'll kind of understand how it should be cooked. Um, so moving on to dairy slash dairy alternatives just move it all over so first up um i have had almond milk plenty of times but i haven't had the almond breeze and there was loads of really 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 great reviews for this um so i thought i would give this brand a try i grabbed Guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with this stuff at the minute. But this is the Yeo Valley um, Organics Greek Style Honey Yogurt. And it's just divine. Divine. It's amazing. I am obsessed. It definitely needs its own little sort of like segment of unblurred joy. It's great. Big, big fan. And another thing that I have reintroduced into my diet. I used to, I used to eat it quite regularly. Regular is kefir, which is um, a kind of fermented dairy product. I don't think it inc it is suitable for um, people who suffer with lactose intolerant because there's no lactose there's no uh, lac lactose sugar in it. So it's cultured dairy drink, source of protein, gut friendly, no added sugar, um, and it's delicious. So I got one of the big strawberry guys, I got a little raspberry guy, I got two little peach guys. And I really, really like the flavour, it, it's delicious to me. 
a um, little bit sort of on the soury side. If you have ever had one of the Longley Farm yogurts, they're kind of like a little bit on taste like that. But they're really nice. They're really thick. Kind of like the same consistency of, as a Yop drink. However, on a 100% scale difference, healthier than Yop. Um, so that's it for the dairy items. Um, I'm just going to call, in fact, I'll do the, the drinks that I got first of all. So I got the Low Bros Rhubarb and Apple Kombucha. Um, if you, I'm so sorry if I'm repeating myself to all you wonderful, lovely people who watch my videos um, week in and week out, but for anybody who's new, kombucha is a um, sort of live culture, sparkling water style drink that is organic. It's got absolutely nothing artificial in it. It's got no sugar in it. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. It's so, so good. And, um... There's lots of research to uh, promote that good gut health is responsible for lots of other beneficial things within your body, even down to like your mental health, guys. So I've been feeling a ton, ton better since I've started drinking it. Um, so all I can really go off is my own experiences. And since I've been drinking it, I have definitely noticed uh, an increase in my um, mood. A reduction in any sort of like uh, tummy tummy issues um, it's and it's delicious it it tastes like a really yummy yummy flavored sparkling water it's really refreshing and really good and I went ahead and I got two of the big bottles so you can get it in this is 330 milliliters but you can get these big guys which are they a litre are they a litre no, there's 750 milliliters. So I got the ginger and lemon, and I got the passion fruit. And then I also grabbed um, one of the next Brett kombuchas, which is the mixed berry flavor. And that's it for drinks. So the next little bit is just some random things, some totally random things. Um, I got some eggs. It's really interesting. Joe asked me last night if eggs were um, dairy because he thought they were dairy, and I said no, they're not. They're not classed as dairy. They are. Um, I, I suppose you could class them more as a meat than you would as a, like a dairy. Uh, I can't remember specifically why, but they're not. If you were wondering. Um, I've got two soups, which I intend to have as lunches at some point this week. I got the Re Nourish Roasted Ginger and Carrot. I've had this one before and it's it's super yummy. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. And I've got the Re Nourish Kale, Spinach and Turmeric. I grabbed a couple um, teriyaki and sesame stir fry sauces I got one of the fid I love these I really love them so much they're so tasty and they're completely like convenient to the to the tea and are super super healthy low calorie there's just nothing bad to say about them they're also uh, really good for the environment Um. What was I reading? They offer like carbon neutral or something? I don't know. They're really good anyway, all round. And the sun, the sun dried tomato and lentil ragu is one of my firm favorites. And I really enjoy having this with some like veggie sausage and some um, like roasted, steamed, boiled, raw vegetables on the side. I also grabbed some of these high protein lentil noodles. These will be split between uh, three people. And then last, but by no means least, I went ahead and I got some new granola. So I decided to treat myself 
to some new granola and I went ahead and got the, um, this is called the Pe Paleo, Paleo Foods Co. Um, pecan and almond grain free granola. So this is 31% seeds, 30% nuts, 28% coconut, 8% coconut blossom nectar and 3% chicory root fibre. And it says, a grain free granola ditches the grains and ramps up the nuts and the seeds to bring you a proper nutty granola that's bursting with flavour and goodness. Our recipe is our recipe is a simple and delicious mix of toasted almonds, cashews, pecans, coconut seeds and just a drizzle of coconut blossom nectar. So gluten free, no palm oil, vegan friendly, all natural ingredients. Yummy, I'm super excited to try that and that's it. That's it for the groceries. Um, yeah, so if you would like to see what meals I compromise, com, com, I don't know where my head's at today, guys. <laughs> if you want to see what I make with all these groceries, you'll have to check in my Wayne Day videos throughout this week. But yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing what I've got. Um, and I'm gonna go and put all this away now, which is the most painful part of the future. <laughs> so I've just finished putting everything away and I am super low on energy <laughs> really really low on energy so i'm going to i'm going to just pop one of these soups into the microwave as something to have what's going on with this bit of hair i have something to have um quickly and then i'm going to meal prep um but i just thought do you know what i feel like my my tummy feels really empty and i just feel really sort of like dizzy and that's not good so yeah i'm gonna stop have some soup and then crack on with prepping my lunches for the rest of the week meal prepping and I thought I would show you what meals I decided to make this week for my lunch for the next couple of days. So this one um, I have some brown rice and then some pro, free, pro fusion organics protein chunks, pea and fava, just let me get floss the sausage because she ain't gonna stop asking for one until I do. You're gonna spin for everyone for your sausage. Give him a spin. Give him a spin. There we go. Here you go. Um, kind of lost my train of thought now. Yeah. So this one, brown rice, the Pro Fusion organic protein chunks, um, and then we have green beans and roasted pepper. And then in this one we have brown rice, marinated tofu, tender stem broccoli and pepper. The calories for this one is 459. The calories for this one is 495. So yeah, really happy with them. I've got obviously three of each meal and then I had um, some of the what's it called, the profusion protein chunk things left over. Um, oh, little tip, add a, a, a vegetable stock cube to your rice when you're cooking it. I have discovered it makes all the difference, all of the difference. So yeah, super pleased that that's done now. Don't have to worry about lunches for the next few days at least. So it is now quarter past four, um, I've had a lovely shower, freshened up a little bit um, and I thought I would just input uh, my meal, rest of my food for today 
we're gonna have a vegetarian butcher chicken stir fry tonight which is exciting um and then after tea we're gonna go to the cinema to see the new venom movie which i'm super excited about um so i'm very conscious of the fact that the cinema the cinema brings with it an opportunity to eat an abundance of calories that you know i don't necessarily want to do um and this is just one of them occasions that um i really want to be on track today i don't want to eat over my calories but i do want to have a little snack while i'm in the cinema so i thought i would make myself a little dessert to take with me just to sort of like keep in control and still have a lovely snack but not feel guilty about it or feel like you know um it's ruined my experience because i've been over calorie and i am on a pretty good streak at the moment i'm on an eight day streak that i don't want to i don't want to stop so yeah I'm going to make a little dessert to take with me and it's going to be quite interesting because I'm planning on taking fruit and yoghurt. My god, who have I become? Um, but yeah, I'm just going to whip that up now so that it's ready for later. So I had a tiny, tiny little sample of um, this pecan and almond grain-free granola. I just can't, I, w I was never expecting it to be like anything super because obviously of all the health benefits and stuff, but I can tell you with great certainty, it is the nicest granola i have ever ever tasted even like i used to be a super super big fan of um the jordan's country crisp um and i don't think that's all that good because of the sugar content and um yeah i just don't think it's as healthy as it sort of like claims to be but i used to really really enjoy that but this is 1000 times nicer it is so tasty i'm excited to uh try the other flavors now that i know it's super good um but super happy with that so marshmallows are ready to go and my delicious dessert ready to go so all i've got to do food wise today is make dinner and then I think um yeah I'm on track I think I've got like 60 calories left over or something which I'm probably not going to consume I'm having a bit of a weird anxiety day today and it's just completely come out of nowhere because I've got absolutely no reason um no reason for it but then do we ever <laughs> have reason for I, well I suppose you can do if there's like if you're going on a job interview or you've got something um pretty crazy going on however I don't and my anxiety likes to just jump out jump out like in the most strangest of times um so I don't know where that's come from but I'm gonna use the tricks that I have in my toolbox um number one is distraction from the feeling which is good because today I've had a lot to do with my meal prepping and I mean it's now half past four so I've got through the majority of the day um, and yeah got a pretty busy evening planned uh, so I think I'm gonna go now and edit this video up until this moment now so that I can make tea and hopefully upload it before I go to the cinema um, so that all you lovely guys can watch what I've been up to today. Uh, but there is a great possibility that it might go up tomorrow, but that's cool. So, yeah, 
do I want? I uh, see I'm in a bit of a predicament <laughs> because I really how am I doing in the water? I don't think I'm doing too great today, guys. I had a I had a big thing of water this morning at the gym, which I don't. Uh I've probably drank a quarter of this. So I've not done too fantastically well. Um but I'm a little bit apprehensive about drinking a load of water and then going to the the cinema because my bladder's just not used to having a high volume of water in it at the moment. So I'll need to pee like every 10 minutes and I don't want to get up in the middle of the film. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to drink until I get back. Sounds really